Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sky, and today we're gonna to be talking about my low buy wish list. As we all know, I am currently on a low buy for this year. So I thought it would be fun because I did do this last year to create a wish list of all the things that I genuinely really want to buy. I've written out a little list of things that I really want and let's get on into it. I'll scooch over so we can insert some products here and also let me know if you'd like to see an update to this wish list of all the products that I bought from my wish list and my reviews of it because I think that would be fun to do a follow-up. But anyways, let's get started. The first product that I want, and this is the only palette on my wish list because this year I want to buy more singles. I don't really want to buy palettes this year. Now this is the Adept Plain Jane palette. Now, ooh, have you ever seen a palette more gorgeous than this? This is a palette full of Adept's ACI formula. Now I will say this might be petty, but I fucking hate the shade names that Adept has. It's a massive pet peeve of mine. I just prefer when shade names are actually names rather than like a code with numbers because my discalcular ass cannot read the numbers. So like I have no idea what my shade is. I have some Brenlovitz shadows and they're numbered and you it's, it's embarrassing how many times that I've read them incorrectly. But even though this is absolutely gorgeous, it wouldn't be something super unique to my collection. The formula would be, but the colours not so much. But also, number one, their pre-order wait time is... It's too long. I believe they've closed their pre-orders for this, but I believe that they're supposed to ship out around June. June! We're in March. And even though I can get down with pre-orders, I understand why they're important as an indie makeup customer, but like, that's a bit long to wait for me. So not only do I have to wait a long time for the shipping time, also the fact that I'm an international customer, so I'd have to wait even longer for this. But the second and probably the main point is the fact that Adept's shipping, international shipping, is daylight robbery. I believe last time I checked it was 35 US dollars or like 40 US dollars. Now I have heard that people say that Adept's international shipping is with Express, so it arrives faster, but that doesn't include customs. And if it's 35 US dollars plus customs, that's about 60 US dollars total for shipping. I just can't justify that shipping and wait time. I'm sorry, I just can't. Next are a few complexion products from the lip bar. The first one being the concealer. I fucking love the Oma Beauty Stay Woke concealer. This is my number one. And if you saw my makeup inventory video, you would know that I like having things in twos. And concealer is something that I like to have things in twos. And I really want to try the Lip Bars concealer because they're another indie brand and they are black owned as well. Oma Beauty is black owned too. I want to buy more from black owned indie brands. And also there are not a lot of indie brands that do complexion products like concealer, foundation, etc. And the claims on this sound really good. This shade range is pretty decent. I think the lightest shade will work for me. A couple of other things from the Lip Bar as well. I really want to try the Lip but they're high on my radar, are uh, the pressed powder because I like pressed powder, I'm an oily skinned bitch, and I have used the Nabla pressed powder for years now, this is my second one, so I do want to try something new, so this one fits the bill nicely. And the last thing from the lip bar, this one I'm a bit wishy-washy on because now that I have the Auric Glow Lust, I don't feel the need to have any other like foundation product, but something that I'm still a little bit mixed on is the Lip Bar Tinted Moisturizer. But I think it would be nice to have a tinted moisturizer on hand because I still will use it and I do love tinted moisturizers. Now we're moving on to eyeliners, the first ones being the LA Girl Neon Shockwave liners and the Pastel liners. Now I actually own one of each of the formula, I have the Shockwave liner in Gotcha, the light green, and the Pastel Dream liner in Marshmallow, the white. This formula is amazing. These are very comparable to the Colourpop Cream Gel Liners, which y'all know those are my all-time favourite, but I don't support Colourpop anymore. And these are very cheap, very easy access to me in the UK. You can buy them on Beauty Bay and they're like £4. Like that's so cheap and I really do want to get more shades because my current Colourpop Cream Gel Liners, they are getting a little bit old and I feel like I want to start slowly finishing them up or decluttering them if they're dried out and replacing them with these because these are incredible. I love the formula and I want more shades. Another thing that I love the formula and I want more shades of are the Lethal Gel Liners. Now I have this in the shade Analog and if you're curious, this is a dead-on dupe for Colourpop Prance. They're the exact same colour, however this formula is better. Lethal's gel liners are criminally underrated. They are incredible. They're very creamy, very pigmented. You can use them as a winged liner on your lid, but they stay put in your waterline 
all fucking day. They literally look the exact same at the beginning of the day and then at the end of the day. And I have cried with this on and it still lasts. They have a ton of shades in this formula and I really want to try the mustard because oh, I don't have a mustard gel liner. That one is at the very top of the list. And I really like the look of the burgundy one too. Now the rest of the things that are on my list are eyeshadows and all of these are single shadows. The first collection of singles that I really want are the Cleona Glitter Type Iridescent Multi Crimes. Now I have already planned out my next Cleona order. I'm actually going in halvesies with a friend so we save money on shipping and customs. And I really want to buy the bundle of these because I fucking love Cleona. They are incredible. I have a bunch of their shadows already. I'm also planning on curating a single shadow palette full of iridescent shades and I really want this formula in there. They will fit nicely, they will add to the collection nicely and they are so beautiful. Every time I see swatches and people use them I die, especially gilding. But yeah I'm a slag for iridescent shadows so these are right up my alley and I would get a ton of use out of them. Next up is a brand of single shadows and those are Glam Shop singles. I love my Glam Shop singles. I use them all the time. I've almost hit Pan and Pilke Jatobi. Their formula is top notch, very comparable to Davina and Kaleidos and Cleona. I know I say those three constantly when I mention Glam Shop. They're based in Poland, so they're easy access to me in the UK. They're pretty affordable. Their shipping is very cheap and you can get free shipping as well. And I really want to try more of the Turbo Glow formula and the Ultra Perlers. I have a couple of the hollow shadows on my list as well, but I love Glam Shop. I don't have any specific shades to mention because my my wish list for Glam Shop is far too long. Next up is Davina. Now specifically I want to buy the Exploders, the Candy Cakes and the Star Chasers. Those collections have been on my mind like forever, especially the Exploders. They've been on my wish list for like two years now. Probably more than that, three years almost. I'm a total slag for the Davina Sugar Drops collection. I have hit pan in five of them and I fucking love Davina's formula. I want more of them. I think if I had to cull this wish list down a little bit, I would maybe say I don't necessarily need the Exploders in my life because I do have shadows that are similar. And last on my wish list are a brand that are completely new to me and that's Shine by SD. Shine by SD are a black owned indie brand based in Canada and Holy shit, their reserve collection. Their reserve collection. Obviously I've harped on about how much I love iridescent shadows and I really want to complete my iridescent palette with a few Shine by SD ones, but I definitely want to get some shadows from their other collections. I know that they have, I think it's called the Golden Hour collection, and I know that M Jones on Instagram, she has a bundle with her favourite uh, Shine by SD shadows, and I really love the look of her bundle too. The only thing I'm a little bit hesitant about ordering from Shine by SD is the fact that I hear that their shadows are very fragile and a lot of people have had their orders break so I'm a little bit nervous ordering from them but I do want to try them. But anyways with all of that said and done that is it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it hopefully you enjoyed hearing my low buy wish list I will probably do a follow-up video to this to let you know if I ended up buying any of these things. Also in the comments down below let me know what's on your low buy wish list I would love to know. If you'd like to see more makeup content from me then follow me on my Instagram it's beauty by sky right here I post all of my looks there some sneak peeks to videos and we have a great time. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you here and as always stay safe, wash your hands and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!